Hey, what's up? Zach King from FinalCutKing.com. I do want to say that this video is brought to you by EditorsKeys.com. And next week, it's really cool because we're going to be doing a giveaway with them. And they're going to give away a couple awesome products on their website. So check it out and come back next week to see what you can win. EditorsKeys.com. I'm beginning an audio series for Final Cut Studio and also just a filmmaking guide for audio. And this will be a five-part series that I'll be posting here on the Final Cut King website. And I just want to take us through a journey of exploring audio, especially if you are new to editing and you're not experienced in audio and maybe you're afraid of it. I want to let you know that audio is your friend. I used to be really freaked out about audio and kind of ignored it for a lot of years until I realized that it's really crucial to a film, a good film. If you look at any professional Hollywood film and compare it to a film with crappy audio, which is usually a student project or just a hobbyist film, you'll see a huge difference. Bad audio can just ruin a film. Through this series, I'll be teaching you the tips and tricks to fix bad audio in post-production, but I want to stress that it's really important to get good audio on the set while you can. A couple tips to get good audio on a set. Use the correct mics for each shoot. I'll talk about that more next week. If you can, hire a sound mixer. It's well worth what you're going to pay for. And then scout locations, not just for the visuals, but also for audio. An example was a friend of mine recently shot a short film in a neighborhood, and he had a beautiful neighborhood picked out, except for that he didn't realize that there were dogs in the neighborhood, and they continued to bark during the set. Even though they talked to the owners to get them to shut up, they were still barking away. So you might have heard these things called DB levels. DB stands for decibel, and basically a decibel is a standardized measurement for audio signals. All audio levels are measured in the dB scale. And in Final Cut Pro, this is your dB level here. So if I play it, flat screen TVs. The only place they didn't put them. So there you see it's hitting a little bit higher than I want it to hit. So here's the rule. Don't go over 0 dBs. I'm going to play this through, but you can see I'm not hitting this top level 0. That's when it's going to peak out red. Never go over this, period. Let me show you some basics of audio in Final Cut Pro. With the footage already in the timeline here, I can hit Option Command W to see these audio waveforms. You can see all my clips down here have these lines. These are audio waveforms, so I can turn it off by hitting Option Command W and they go away. I can also get it back by hitting the same key command or right clicking and go Audio Waveforms. If you're still having problems seeing this, you're on the small view. You cannot see them on this small view down here change this at least to the second one and you can begin to see them. There's four different views in Final Cut Pro. Now you're going to see this pink line here. This is a line for adjusting the audio. I can pull it up and pull it down and you can see the dB, the decibels, are represented in number form. Here's the number I told you not to go above, zero. And if I play it, you're going to see it is hitting zero and these red lines and this little red dot is notifying me that I am definitely clipping. Clipping means my audio is peaking above a certain amount, which is zero, and it sounds like crap. You know when you hear the that is a clipping sound and a peaking sound. That's when you're going over zero. You don't want that. Now, to get these lines that I adjusted here, it's right here, this little mountain. It's a toggle clip overlay, option W. I like to call it the little mountain. Hit this button to turn it off and on. You can double click your audio and get it here in the viewer just like you can your clip. If I double click the audio, we can scrub through here and listen to anything we want to hear. We can even zoom in a little bit closer. This black line is your frame. I'm going to show you a cool trick on Wednesday to show you how to edit within a frame. But let me hold that thought. Now the pen tool here can be used for audio and for video opacity just like we can adjust it here. We can use that same tool for the audio. Now I can also use this pen tool up here in the viewer and adjust the audio like so. Let me show you how to do a little fade out with some music here. If we zoom in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the P key which is the pen tool and we're gonna do a fade out. Over 100,000 people. Okay, so starting right here we're gonna take the music down to do a natural fade, what you're going to need is usually a minimum of three points. So this is our anchor point. And then we're going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more, gradually, and take the last point here 
all the way down. We can continue to adjust these right here. But what's also amazing? If we don't want one of the points, we can just right click and clear that out. If you want to adjust the whole clip volume, let's go ahead down here to a line of dialog. We can bring it up like this, but you can see that only just one of them at a time. And we want to stay away from using our mouse a lot when we're editing, so go ahead and pick the key command. It's control right bracket, and that brings them both up, and control left bracket brings them down. Simple key command, I use this one all the time. If you just want to select one, hit option, select it, and then do the key command, control right bracket to move it up. So a lot of you probably have information overload right now, but these are just a few of the basics that I want you to have down for the next set of videos. This is kind of like the fundamentals that I want you to have, because from here we're just diving into the pool but I'll be guiding you along, so don't worry. Once again, you gotta thank EditorsKeys.com for sponsoring this video series. Like I said, next week we're gonna be doing an awesome competition and giveaway with some of their cool products. That's EditorsKeys.com. And you can find me on Facebook, and you can check out my website, FinalCutKing.com, for more video tutorials. I'm Zach King, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.